Okay, now we're going to add the sound piece that's going to go in with it. Now remember when I told you in the library I've got this sound file called WAVE. What I did was is, um, I just did a file import import to library to import a WAVE sound file which I downloaded off the internet um, free sound from uh, soundsnap.com and, uh, and now I'm going to add this sound into uh, the movie. So um, let me show you how I'm going to do this. Uh, right before our code on this function, the calmove function, I'm going to say right underneath the var for the score, I'm going to say um, catch sound. I just made that up. With a capital S catch sound equals new sound. And very important, S has to be capitalized to access the sound class. And then an open and close parentheses and a semicolon. So that creates a new sound object out of the sound class called catch sound. And then I'm going to just say catch sound dot attach sound, right, from the library. And in quotation marks, P-L-O-P-P -P is the linkage name that I set for it. So catch sound dot attach sound from the library called plop, right? If I wanted to set the volume, I could do that. I could say catch sound dot set volume, and I could say equal it to, uh, let's say, 70. That would 70% of its volume, right? And so now I have a sound, catch sound, attaches the sound from the library, I've set the volume, and now all I have to do is call it when I want to call it. Well, a good time to call it would be when we have a hit test, when we hit the cowboy. So the first thing I might do is play that sound. So I'm going to erase this hit, this trace statement, and I'm going to say catch sound dot start. Right? and now we'll see if it works and there it is if you could hear it playing oh I didn't catch that one and so now that uh, sound is very important for the game right for giving us a sense and, and making the game more fun people respond to sound and uh, it's just going to improve your overall game immensely if you have some sound alright so I've got my score and I've got my cows and what I'm missing now is some other basics to get this going, like a start screen, an instruction screen, a credit screen, a preloader. There are some other elements that I probably want to want to have. Right now, all I have is just this first frame of my movie, right, and all the graphics, and that's it. So um, there are a few more elements to make it a complete game. If I add those elements, I have to remember at right at the beginning of my movie. Right, I'm going to backspace that out. Here's my code, the top of my code. If I decide to add more frames, I'm going to make sure to put a stop action to stop my frame on this frame. So what I could do is now I could have a start screen. So now I could move this to 5. Right. Okay. And I could add another layer for frame labels. Labels. Actions. assets right and on frame labels I'll put a keyframe here and say call this one in my frame label property window frame frame label play okay hit enter and now that's the hit F5 over here to add frames so this is the play frame right this is where I would have my preloader or my start screen or whatever right and I could um, you know, when the game's over, you could have a game over screen on, on frame 10. On frame 2, I could have the start screen. Frame 1, I could have the preloader. So right now, um, you can see that it's still, it just jumps, it plays right ahead to frame 5. You don't even notice it's moving so fast. And you have the game. The game never ends at this point. So you've got to add in that extra functionality. And I'll do that. I'll add some more functionality in the next movie.